Hello everyone. I've been an anime fan for many years now, and I recently went through a period where I wasn't watching much anime anymore. And I want to talk about that in this video, not my experiences personally, but more about how to address that if that's happening in your life or might happen in the future. So let's talk anime burnout. I think we've all had this experience, or we fear it might happen someday, that you know, we're watching anime, we try to watch anime, and it just doesn't have the appeal it used to. We just don't want to watch it anymore. So what do you do in those situations? Well, before we get into that, I want to talk about different types of burnout. I think there are two kind of scales of burnout, and you have to treat them very differently. So let's start with what I'll call moderate burnout. This is where you still conceptually in your mind you still like anime but you're not seeking it out anymore you don't voluntarily watch it you don't come home from work or from class and think oh i'm gonna sit down and watch anime maybe you do but it doesn't happen and you realize it's been weeks or even months since you last watched anime it's not that you're completely sick of it you're willing to you're just not seeking it out anymore now, in this level of burnout, if a friend invites you over and says, oh, let's watch some anime together, you'll totally do that, and you'll enjoy it. It's just not something that you are making time for the way you used to. That's what I would consider mild to moderate anime burnout. That's contrasted with what I call complete burnout. That's where you can't even stand to look at anime anymore. Like if it comes up on TV, if you're channel switching and come across anime, you're like, ah, I don't want to, and you switch to something else. You're just kind of sick of anime. That happens, that is real, and we'll talk about that a little later. But let's start by talking about moderate burnout, which I think is much more common. Complete burnout is, is pretty rare. Uh, so let's start with the more frequently seen thing of moderate burnout. So. What are some possible fixes for this? Now, I do want to add a caveat here. These are all possible fixes. I'm not saying this will solve all of your problems. Everyone's different. So consider each of these and look into each of these as appropriate for your situation. So let's start with fix number one. Go back and rewatch your favorite anime. You know this list better than I do. What are those top five, top ten anime for you? Go back and rewatch those. Reconnect with the things that made you love anime in the first place. Those are the things that you're going to probably really enjoy. There's something a little deeper in this one. I like to go deeper. Those anime had something about them that you really connected with. And it's not just the fact that they were anime. It could be their animation style. It could be their characters. It could be the pacing of them. It could be that their genre. There are all sorts of things that draw us to certain kinds of media. Maybe the anime you're watching now isn't the same kind of stuff that got you into anime. Maybe by going back and watching those, you can find out what are those specific aspects of anime that you're drawn to, so you can go back and find more of those. So go back to that top five, top ten anime list of yours, and go back and rewatch some of those. See if that helps a bit. Another possible fix is to watch old anime. Now this is particularly for folks who generally watch recent stuff, who don't habitually watch older anime. And this is not because older anime is fundamentally better than modern anime. It's because older anime is very different. Anime of the 1990s is wildly different from anime of today. Archetypes, uh, the concepts of the series, all sorts of elements are just very different. The, the medium was different, the studios were different than they are today. Same thing with anime of the 1970s. Very different from anime of the 90s or of today. So going back and checking out very different anime than what you're used to can really spark a, an interest in what's going on there. And this gets back to that previous point. You like anime for particular reasons. Maybe some of those older anime have things that spark interest that aren't as present in modern anime. 
maybe the medium right now has moved away from the things that you particularly um, find a joy in. So try watching some stuff from the past that may be uh, very different from what you're used to. Uh, this is not hard at all these days. Just go on Crunchyroll, start going back. A lot of the uh, the streaming services will allow you to see anime by date, like when they came out. So go back a couple of decades, try out some stuff. By the way, this is also a good opportunity to go back and check out some classics, some of those anime that you've heard about or that you know were formative about anime, and uh, check those out. See what made them such classics. So try some older stuff. Another possible fix, stop binging anime. And this is kind of a weird one, um, but I know most folks that are into anime, in fact, most folks who are exposed to anime these days tend to be bingers. Um, generally, you know, they'll start watching a show and they'll watch it all the way through, as long as it's not, you know, One Piece. Um, but they'll just binge, binge, binge. That is the, the common thing now. Now, I'm not saying you should never binge shows. I'm saying one possible way to address burnout is to pull back on your binging. One reason for that is because if you're not seeking out anime anymore, you're not watching anime, period, um, or maybe very little, you need to get back into it, or you often will be better able to get back into it if you do so small. Don't try to jump deep into anime. Watch a little bit of it. Watch one episode of something. And then you can wait till tomorrow or the next day to watch another episode of it. You don't need to binge it. Get into it a little bit, one step at a time. Something with very little commitment, something very easy to watch. Maybe a light comedy would be a, a nice thing to get back into with. Um, something like maybe Laid Back Camp or Do It Yourself. Some of these um, uh, easier shows where you're not going to have to keep track of you know, a lot of plot. You can get into it slowly and kind of work your way back into anime. Don't worry about having to binge all the way through a show in an evening or weekend. Just go at a slower pace. You might also find, by the way, that this is a very helpful way of watching certain shows. Not all shows benefit from binging, and you may be binging shows that um, were just hard to follow, um, and that what we're binging made them all kind of blur together, right? So... Um, Helpful tip for anime in general, but especially if you're trying to recover from burnout, just go slow. One episode, come back to it later. Uh, whoops. Um, the fourth idea is to explore new genres. This is perhaps obvious, but it bears a mentioning. You probably didn't get into anime just because it is Japanese animation. You got into it because you like something about it. There are certain genres that you're into. And modern anime, or the anime that people are recommending to you, may not be in the genres that really speak to you very much. So it's worth exploring some unusual genres. Maybe it's shows that are around now but just aren't getting the buzz. Those may work very well for you. Remember, popularity with the broad audience doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be popular with you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you'll like it just because it's popular. So be willing to try out new genres, especially ones that you like, but you haven't got into the anime aspects of that. It might be worth exploring that. You might find some really neat shows. Um, and I should also point out, don't worry too much about going into a genre that you know has tons of representation in anime. If you really love modern police crime procedurals. There aren't that many of them in anime, but you can find them and you'll probably find some that you really enjoy. So be willing to get into things even if you know it's not going to be a very deep well. You'll still find things you enjoy and that's the, that's the key thing. So those are four possible fixes. Again, not necessarily going to solve everything for everyone, but um, four things to try. What are the genres you like? Go back into those. What about if you have complete burnout? Now, this doesn't happen to many people, but it might happen to you, and if it does, I want you to be prepared. What do you do? Here's my suggestion. And again, this is if you just can't stand to look at anime anymore. Stop watching. And I know this seems heretical to a lot of people. Um, watching anime kind of defines them. But if you have that level of complete burnout, 
a little fix probably is not going to bring you back in. Um, it's going to be much more effective for you to just put it entirely aside for now. This doesn't mean you will never watch anime again. But if you're that sick of watching anime, put it to the side. Fill your life with other things. Um, it's common to say, touch grass. I think that's a little um, dismissive. I would go more broad than that. Try other hobbies. Try other media. Try other just ways of filling your time. Try just chilling out in the evenings. Try reading. Try doing a bunch of other things. Cooking. Who knows? Just let anime cook. Let it sit to one side for a while. And don't worry about how long it will take you to come back to it. Your mind needs a break. It's the same. This is equivalent to getting injured in a, sp in a sport, right? Maybe you're a professional level athlete and you get injured. You can't go back to the same level the next day. You have to stop, let it rest, and then get back to it once you've fully recovered. Let it take its time. Just stop. And that's the only fix I know of, by the way. Um, just let it go. Let it go. And I hope no matter what level of burnout you have, even if it's mild, by trying one or more of these fixes, you will go back to a point where you're back into it again and you're enjoying anime again. I hope everyone here can enjoy anime. That's it for this video. Hope that's helpful. Thank you. See you next time.